guys, it's Steffi D. Welcome back to my channel in the middle of gift giving season. If you're excited to see today's video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on all of the good holiday goodness coming up. I'm so excited. So today's video, we're gonna be making something that is so fun. I think it's one of my favorites so far. It's very personalized and very creative. We're gonna be making photo candles. You can print any photo you want on here. It melts into the candle. These are such a great gift idea for anyone on your list. You can make different ones for everyone and that's the beauty of it. You can really make anything you want on here. Just print out the pictures that you want and it's up to you. They're so easy to make. You're going to fall in love with this just like I did. As always, full instructions for this project will be on my blog, steffydcreates.com. Links to all the products I used in this video in the comments below. I am just obsessed with this. I think everyone on my list is going to get at least one photo candle. Maybe not of me, maybe of me. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyways, I can't wait to show you how to make these, so let's get started. Come craft with me, Steffi D. Here's what you're going to need. A plain white candle, tissue paper, wax paper, a blow dryer, plain printer paper, and scissors. The first thing that we're going to do is tape our tissue paper onto our plain printer paper. So you're going to take a piece of your printer paper and a piece of tissue paper, and yes, this is the decorative tissue paper you fill gift bags with and take a piece of it out and we're going to cut it just a little bit smaller than your printer paper. If you have folds in yours, I try and cut around the folds so the folds don't come out in our picture. So I'm just gonna cut a section of this tissue paper out and we're going to tape this to the printer paper. You want to tape it with the shiny side down. Just center it out and then take your tape and we're gonna tape down all of the sides. You wanna make sure that it's really nice and smooth and there are no air bubbles in it. Then you wanna decide how big you're going to print your picture. I am using candles that are 2.5 inches tall and 2 2.8 inches wide. So I'm going to print a picture that's two by two so I know that it will fit and there will be a little bit of extra space. So when you're printing out your picture, you want to make sure that it's printing at the correct size. So I'm printing a two by two picture and instead of printing on regular printer paper, you are going to insert this piece of paper with the tissue on top so that it feeds in so that it's going to print on the tissue paper. Don't worry, it won't get stuck. As long as you've taped it smooth, it will be fine. And if you're worried that it's not going to print on the tissue, make sure that it's centered in the middle of the page. I have printed my picture. It is in the middle of my page to make sure that it's on the tissue paper and it's my two inch by two inch size. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to cut it out. Cut it out from the regular paper and the tissue paper and you wanna cut it pretty close to the edge of your image. It doesn't have to be exact, but just pretty close. There's not a lot of extra on the sides. Then you can discard everything but the tissue paper that has your image printed on it. Next, we're going to cut a piece of wax paper. We're going to use this on top of that tissue paper. So you want to cut just a little piece, enough that it covers your image because we're going to be using the blow dryer on top of it. So just a thin layer that's long enough to cover it. So once you cut it out, you can measure it on the candle and see how big it's going to be. I like to make sure that it goes all the way around so it's easier to hold, but you don't need extra. So once it goes all the way around, I'm just gonna trim it. Now for the fun part, I love this project. You're going to place the tissue paper on your candle and place it where you want the image to go. And then you're gonna place your wax paper on top of it and you want the waxy, shiny side down touching your image. Make sure you smooth it out so that there are no air bubbles over it. Now for the fun part, this is so cool. I had to use hot, not warm, but hot on here. You can use it on the low setting, but as long as your temperature is on hot, you're good to go. And you're gonna hold the wax paper over your image onto the candle and you're going to point the blow dryer at the candle and at the image and it's going to melt the tissue paper into the candle so your image becomes part of the candle. That's so cool, right? It's going to take a few seconds for it to warm up and really start to melt, so just keep blowing it and you'll see that it'll almost start to look wet. Be careful when you're blowing at your fingers, it's gonna get a little bit hot, so make sure that your fingers are out of the way. Make sure you get all of the edges of where you cut. You don't wanna have any tissue paper that's on there that didn't get melted. As you can see, my image has gotten a little bit darker now that it has melted on, and when your image is completely saturated and looks wet, then you're done and you're gonna slowly pull your wax 
paper off of your candle and you're gonna let this dry for about a half an hour. I know it's really tempting to touch it and play with it, it's wax, but you don't wanna ruin your image, so just don't touch it and let it dry. Once it's dried, that's it. Super easy, right? And how cool is that? You can put any picture you want onto a candle. I may even make these as gifts for my wedding as wedding favors because these are so cute. I can print them and have the date on there, but these are just such a great personalized idea and an excellent gift for Christmas. Enjoy. So now that you've seen how easy it is to make these, Who's ready to make some? I'm about to make a dozen of these. Like I said, maybe not with my picture on them, but personalized pictures for everyone on my list. I just love this project. If you liked it too, don't forget to click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up so I know you wanna see more videos like this that can be personalized and creative and just get me so happy to make. As always, full instructions will be on my blog, stephydcreates.com. Links to all the products I used in this video in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, for behind the scenes information, upcoming projects, tips and tricks, sneak peeks behind the scenes, so much more on there. So go ahead and give me a follow. There's so much more coming out in the holiday gift guide. So stay tuned, keep checking back. There's so many more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.